Welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to be reviewing James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. Now, as always, I'm going to be giving you my general thoughts and opinions on this, and if I think you should see it, just skip it. Now, as always, there will be spoilers and language involved, so let's do that. So this movie, what, what I really appreciate about this movie is that even though it's a soft reboot in a way, it keeps it in the same universe as the very first Suicide Squad movie. So you already know the premise if you saw this movie where, you know, if you're a criminal, you get put into this program, uh, into Task Force X, and if the mission is successful, you get 10 years knocked off your sentence. So the whole the first movie built the whole thing up and all this and that. So the second movie kind of touched on that and just went into that and, and you already know what's going to go on. So now, uh, Viola Davis as Amanda Waller, she's such a dick. I love her. She's such an over-the-top asshole. I love her character. She kills it as Amanda Waller. Okay? Now, returning from the very first movie is Rick Flagg, uh, Joel Kinnaman. Again, he's solid. Like, he's a very, very solid character and, and an actor. Okay? Uh, another funny character is Nathan Fillion as TDK, a.k.a. The, the Detachable Kid. Now... What I found fucking hilarious about this character was that you just see how useless he is. <laughs> Where his fucking arms detach and he's like he's starting to slap the military people. So they shoot his fucking arms and that's how he ends up getting killed. It was just the dumbest thing possible. Now a death in this movie that kind of annoyed me and bothered me a little bit was Captain Boomerang's uh, death in the movie very, pretty early on too. Um... But then again, like I, you're not gonna bring it back for a third movie. But his death triggered Harley. Like there was a really sweet scene when she sees him dying, and, and like it, it broke her. Um, Fluvla Borg as Javelin, again another useless character. But him and Harley had a little flirtatious thing where she likes his voice and this and that. Um, I was kind of surprised they kept, that they killed off Mongol so quickly. Um, but uh, it, you know it is what it is. She was there just to fill in a role, and she did that. Again, Pete Davidson has Blackguard. <laughs> he gets his fucking face blown off. <laughs> oh, that shit was hilarious. Sean Gunn has Weasel, creepy little weird. He's the same guy who plays, um, I believe, uh, Groot. So, you know, he likes doing these awkward characters. Um. What else? Uh, we have any other characters besides... Oh yeah, Idris Elba as Bloodsport. Phenomenal. He's one of the reasons this movie is incredible. Okay. And John Cena as Peacemaker. He kills this. I didn't know... I knew he'd be good in it, but I didn't know how good he'd be in this. Now also, the heart and soul of this movie is um, Daniela uh, Mel 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 Melchior. I'm probably saying her name wrong. She plays Ratcatcher too. She she's such a sweetheart and her character is so nice and and like polite and, and loving and friendly and you just don't understand how she got herself wrapped up into this but she's amazing like she is so, she's you'll see it she's such a sweetheart now also what's funny is Sylvester Stallone he voices King Shark now the reason why I bring up him and Ratcatcher 2 together is because you know she's this awkward character and King Shark, he has no friends so, you know, this woman who's in charge of rats, you know, befriends the shark and they become these, like, tight friends and, like just, like, uh, King Shark, like, he looked good like, the the CG in this movie and just the lighting on characters, it looks so beautiful, like, it looked really, really good um Thinker was great, like now, what's incredible is Margot Robbie, all right? Goddess Margot Robbie. Again, she kills the role as Harley Quinn. Okay, like I said previously in other videos, she is Harley Quinn, all right? She is a spectacular casting. She is Harley Quinn. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a scene in this movie where she gets captured when they're invading the beach in the early part of the movie. And... She um, uh, she ends up just going like killing one of the her guard, and then just shooting everybody up, getting her way out. And then she sees Rick Flag and uh, and Bloodsport, 
trying to save her and like you've seen in the trailers where she goes oh you're trying to save me blah 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 like but don't forget people forget about this about Harley she's insane now the reason why I, I bring that, that point up is because um, there's a scene later on in the movie where after she gets captured where the future president of the country wants to marry her you know so they go through this whole lovey dovey thing they, they hook up and all this and that and obviously she's over Miss Mr. J so uh, there's no mention of Joker in this movie at all which is great but she just said she basically does say you know um, if she ever dated again that she would be pointing out weird signs about if there were weird things about the person she was with she would kill them that's why she killed this guy because he experimented with on um, children and this and that um, but there's a scene where she's uh, before all this where she's in shackles and she's hanging from the ceiling and apparently Margot Robbie really did this and holy shit like Margot is insane like it's like she's hanging from the wall and like she wraps her legs around the, the fucking her, her captor like snaps his neck then picks his pocket with her feet then unlocks her lock with her feet all in the meantime she's dangling by the fucking ceiling I don't know how Margot did that in one shot according to James Gunn it was one shot I don't know how the fuck she did that but holy shit you know like she she was amazing like she uh, her rat catcher and now uh, um, as far as uh, what's his name as John Cena goes as peacemaker um, so as as they're getting into the into the fucking tower where Starro is because they you know they're trying to do stuff I'm not going to go into the whole detail of the movie but uh, so they get into they get into um, uh, they find Starro they find the experiments you know thinkers there explains the whole story about what's going on this and that okay um, so Starro is this <laughs> this big fucking creature who over the over the past 30 years that they've been experimenting on this and that and they've been you know he's been getting huge and bigger and bigger and bigger because he's feeding off people and um you know he <laughs> he's this super secret weapon and he's you know apparently uh made like the u.s government made an agreement with this country because they couldn't get this project going on u.s soil just in case things went wrong so they did on this country and then this whole thing about the government doing you know secret experiments and that's when uh rick flag gets into a huge fight with john cena and john cena basically tells him or well, peacemaker tells him he's going to do anything to protect his country which is what his mo is from things like that from things getting out because uh uh rick flag loses it and goes you know what i've been serving this country for so long and i can't do this anymore you know and he goes to, to pull out a hard drive to show all the experiments and this and that that are going on and that's when him and Cena get into it Cena ends up killing uh, Rick Flagg which is a little heartbreaking but you understand why later on in the movie why uh, they're pulling kind of away from the first Suicide Squad movie um, so they get into fight and then Cena and, and, and uh, P uh, not Cena, Peacemaker and Bloodsport get into it later on in the movie with Bloodsport killing John Cena um, King Shark eating people in a very violent way like this movie is very very violent like I didn't realize just how violent it would be but it is dark and it is heavy okay um, but the way people get their heads sliced off and the way King Shark rips people apart and eats them and this movie is phenomenal like I can rave about this movie all day and I probably will but um, <laughs> this movie was so well done the only thing I didn't like about this movie was that the score is kind of weak and I knew that going into it because I, I bought the score and I was like eh. it's like okay it's there's no memorable, memorable songs on the movie on, on the score it's like okay uh, the best song of the, this movie is a song uh, a real song that's used early on in the movie but the score is kind of you know whatever it's kind of a throwaway but as far as the rest of this movie goes so what's funny is the characters that end up surviving are goddess margot robbie who ends up being the last and the last character to survive from the original movie because everybody else is dead or in prison um 
uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Bloodsport survives. Ratcatcher number two survives. King Shark survives. Okay, and then in the in the in the in the mid credit scene, you come back to the island where the Suicide Squad first came back, and because uh, originally in the movie, um, Weasel drowned, and everyone's like, oh, you know, we didn't check if he can if he can swim, blah blah blah. So he wakes up from uh, his supposed drowning and <laughs> runs away. So Ratcatcher, uh, not Ratcatcher, uh, Weasel is alive, which is great because I want more Weasel. And um, at the at the at the at the post credit scene, it's the the, uh, the the medical people after they clean up all the shit that happened with the with Starro and all that, where Starro destroys everything and starts throwing fucking like controlling people by throwing things on their faces to, to control them which you kind of saw in uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League but they were mechanical so now you have the actual star stars on people's fucking faces and shit so they end up finding John Cena's corpse a body alive like alive and they, they're like oh yeah we're gonna bring him back alive because we need him to help protect the world blah 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 so they're essentially building a third Suicide Squad movie um, with these characters and um, I mean maybe we'll have some of the original cast come back for the third movie. Maybe Will Smith will want to reprise his role as Deadshot, which I think Deadshot and Deathstroke, not Deathshot, um, Deadshot and Bloodsport together, I think will be amazing, you know. And so what's funny is throughout this movie, before John Cena turns heel and and goes after the, the squad because he wants to protect this country, because remember his mo is anything for this country, I will save this country, blah blah blah. Um, him and him and uh, uh, Bloodsport have like a battle of the dicks to see who's the biggest who has the biggest one so as Rick Flagg who got captured earlier in the movie or so they thought so they're walking to to find him and like they're killing people in all these crazy ways and you know they're just like trying to one up each other it's the funniest scene you'll ever see like cause you have these two guys oh and yeah and I don't need to see John Cena in his fucking tidy whities you know please no, nobody needs to see that um, but you know they did that for the ladies. Anyway, so before I ramble on about this movie too much, the Suicide Squad movie is it picks up kind of where the first movie left off. You know the story about you know Task Force X and and their plan basically is they put in these crazy missions and if they survive they get time knocked off to sentences. Okay, now what's cool is. So what uh, what Bloodsport does is he blackmails Amanda Waller at the end of the movie and says, you know, um, if you free me, Harley, uh, and the rest of the surviving gang, and uh, Ratcatcher, if you survive us, if you release us from prison, this video will never get out, and nobody will ever see anything. So she ends up releasing him, so now they're free. Now, what does that mean for part three? I'm not sure. Maybe they'll they'll still work with her or something. I don't I don't fucking know. Maybe they'll I'll, I'll actually be. Uh, a Task Force X movie, so we'll see. We'll see where they go with that. But that's not gonna happen for a couple of years anyway, because James Gunn he has to finish. Uh, he has to start Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy three. There's um, uh, Guardians uh, ride going on uh, at Disney. There's um, the Halloween special, the the Christmas special coming out, and then he's done with everything. So I think after that. You'll probably get like a King Shark spin-off, a, a Rat Catcher spin-off, a, a, um, a Bloodsport spin-off, which I'm all for, and probably Peacemaker Season 2, okay? Um, so we'll see where they go with that. But The Suicide, Squ- the Suicide Squad movie, um, if you see it, let me know what you think about it. I highly recommend going to see it in theaters. There's nothing better than seeing a movie of this magnitude in theaters in IMAX. It's amazing. Um, so if you see this movie, let me know what you think about it. Um, I would again, I will highly recommend this movie. Um, I can't wait to see it again next week, and then uh, pre-order the Blu-ray, 4K, and the Steelbook because that's what I do. Anyway, this is the Suicide Squad movie. Uh, if you see it, let me know what you think about it. And as always, get your nerd on.